When I first came to Hope, I was sad. I was so sad. But I thought, ah oh, man, who makes it out of Arkansas? Sosa moved here in his ninth grade year, and he had been in some situations where he grew up, where um, some of the crowd was rough. And, you know, early he got in some trouble, just trying to, you know, defend himself. He didn't want people to talk about him. And, you know, Sosa grew up um, financially uh, at times were a struggle. We grew up so hard and so rough and with very little. My mama, she worked a lot of hours. So we stayed with my grandmother a lot. And I remember she used to teach us how to make homemade syrup from just water and sugar because we couldn't afford to go get some real syrup. You know, that was tough. That was, that was tough. I had to work as a single mom and it was hard for me to leave him every day and work three jobs. But I knew he was okay because he was with my mama. But having a grandparent, having aunts take care of him, that's a struggle in itself. She was the rock, you know, the rock of the family. And when she when she died, she, it was hard for me when she passed away. Because at that moment when he was young and not understanding situations a lot, you know, I was just ready to go, ready to fight it out whenever. I remember principal sent my mother down and was like, your son is by the age of 18, he's gonna be dead or in jail. I had to learn from that. I had to, I had to grow. So I joined the football team as quick as possible, as quick as I could. And I was like, this is just a new beginning. It's an opportunity. Sosa came to me and he told me that he wanted to play football. And he had a great frame. You know, he was a good looking kid, but uh, you could tell he hadn't been in the weight room. So we started taking protein and we started hitting the weights real hard and he fell in love. He would call me up on weekends and say, coach, can you open the weight room for me? So I'd get up and come up here and open the weight room and he'd be up here by himself. You know, and that's what I said, what do you want to do? You know, so, so what, I mean, what's your goals here? And, and um, he told me, I want to be the number one player in the country. I told him I wanted to be the best. You know, I want to go somewhere. I want to be the best in the nation. You know, when you've got those kind of goals, you want your kids to be able to achieve them, but you also want to be realistic. You know, really, is, is he this good? And then the more I watched, I realized that he is that good and had a chance to be the number one player in the country. Coach Chaley just kept believing in me. Like he really, he really cared. That's love, you know? That's real love. That's something I'll never forget. Once he finally decided to trust his coaching staff and his players, he became a different person. And you knew right at the end that, that something special was about to happen. Sophomore season was his breakout season. He had 77 tackles, 32 tackles for loss, and 16 sacks. As a junior, he had 72 tackles, 22 sacks, 13 pass knockdowns, and six forced fumbles. And then his senior season, we decided to play him offensively, and he's carried for over 160 yards this year. He's got eight rushing touchdowns, and he's continued those defensive statistics as good, if not better, than his sophomore and junior year. But what makes him even better is his schoolwork. You know, he's got a 3.8 grade point average. Uh, he's number nine in his class. He's gonna graduate early in December. He's an excellent student. And all it is is like a fashion, and you just call it to release it. So this gives her the most. Mm-hmm. And then what about your knees? What happened to your knees a lot? Uh, to her ACL. To ACL, and that's the most common injury, right? And why is that? Because when His determination to succeed off the field I think surpasses his determination to succeed on the field. And to see that quality in someone as a student is unparalleled. School and education has always been instilled in me since I was a young kid. And my grandma always taught me, if you want something, you gotta go get it. And football is helping me get an education, so I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take all of that. Because I feel like this is how I'm gonna feed my family. This is the way I'm gonna put food on the table. 
You know, I'm gonna put my kids through college. It's more than just a game. It's my life, it's the way I'm gonna provide. So that's why I take it so seriously. continuing to play, keep fighting, keep fighting, uh, continue to just duke it out with them, and good things will happen. Man, time is flying. Bobcats need to put points on the board, and Blyville's knocking on the door. They're in I formation. Quarterback backs up, throwing in the middle, intercepted by oh. Aguin. Here we go, Sosa. Take it off. Here we go. Number 33, Sosa the game, intercepting the ball. Now, momentum has switched to the Bobcats for sure. That, yeah, that's a hook. Bobcat, touchdown! I think in, in anything in life, when things start happening good for you, you feel like you've got that confidence that you can do anything. And I think that's what's happened with him now. This was the moment. This was the time that you needed to find every bit of gumption you had better be able to say that you left everything on the field. You look for moments when these star players really shine. Here we see Sosa out here at wide receiver, number 33. With a defender on him, and Sosa goes up the middle. And let's see, and that is a hope! Bobcat touchdown! And we've seen the turn of events now tied the ball game. We're able to see something amazing. We've got 21-21. The great thing about football is that it just resembles life so much. You get knocked down in life, but if you always get back up, you're gonna have a chance to do great things. Life is not gonna wait on nobody. You gotta take advantage of every moment. And I feel like I've given every single ounce that I have to this. He proved a lot of people wrong. He ended up number one player in Arkansas and the, the highest rated defensive player to ever come out of Arkansas. He realized that I can go play at Division I SEC football, and he's going to. But I've told him, I'm more proud of the young man he's become than the football player he is. He always said, Grandma, Mama, make you proud. He's doing it, because she's proud. Trust me, she is. 